Welcome everyone, this is Megan Hagedorn from the Marks Group Live. Excited to be here today teaching working with dashboards in Zoho CRM to you. So after this training is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject. Please also be sure to rate this class. Um, it's going to help out your fellow Zoho users and allow us to improve our video library. Here are some of the main points we'll be discussing today. So dashboards are highly customizable and consist of charts. Um, these charts are going to provide really high level, well presented information about your records. Um, you can create your own charts and dashboards or use dozens of out of the box charts um, and a handful of out of the box dashboards. And finally, out of the box charts and dashboards can be modified um, heavily. So um, we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. All right, so let's see this in action. Okay, so we've got our Zoho home page here. We're gonna go over to the analytics tab. Um, that's gonna get us to our dashboards. They don't call it dashboard. They don't call it charts. Um, they just call it the analytics module. So go ahead and select that. And we've got um, our favorites here. We've got a custom dashboard right here, um, but we've got a bunch of out-of-the-box dashboards. Most of these that are displayed here are, are out-of-the-box. And if we select these, we're just going to see a ton of example charts. Um, I mean, the charts are examples, but they're using real data. So we've got our leads by source, um, for example, uh, revenue target, lead generation, some really good stuff. Accounts this month that we've got no data yet. When we can just tape page through each of these out of the box dashboards and see a bunch of out of the box charts um, in each of these dashboards. And these charts are called components as well. Um, in deal insights, we can see our deals by stage. So feel free to tab through these and just really explore. Um, your administrator may have set some of these up already and feel free to investigate those as well. Alright, so we are going to first create our own uh, dashboard. We're going to click this button up in the upper left there, the little plus button. Um, we're going to call this um, leads. We're just going to, even though there is an out of the box lead dashboard, we're still going to take a look at that. So, um, if we select this box here, the only me box, we can say um, if we want to share this view with anybody, everybody, or just specific people, or just leave it to um, private. And if you do set up a view for all users, um, we'll go ahead and do that. We can include specific filters um, in the components, in the charts or other components that we add, so that, so for example, I'm going to rename this to My Leads. With, we, with using specific filters for these components, we can allow users, no matter if it's user A or user B, when they look at this dashboard, they will only see their specific leads. Um, rather than, uh, you know, create everybody their own lead dashboard and say user equals user A. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second if I'm not being super clear. Um, so we're going to next add components from the gallery. This is going to allow us to see out of the box components or charts. And these are broken out by category as well. We've got org overview, lead analytics, deal insights, activity stats, or marketing metrics. Since we're talking about leads in this example, I'm going to go over to the leads section. Um, and we're going to add leads this month. And we're going to call it my leads this month. And we've got, and this is a, a KPI um, component that we're adding here. 
Um, so we've got our KPI metrics section here, our duration. These are our options here. We can um, specify, I, I, for something like this, I would definitely leave it on created time, um, but we can say this year. And this is how we can edit a out-of-the-box component or chart. And then we've got our comparison indicator. That's this little guy here. Compared to previous period. And then you can say if you want an increase to be viewed as positive or negative. We're going to add some criteria here. Um, add a filter. So we want the lead owner is. And then if we select this here, we can actually just say logged in user. Um, and that's how we can set up this kind of my leads dashboard and have it work for everybody no matter what. Okay. We can also add, what's another good one? Go back to our lead analytics section. So as you can see, we've got a ton of different um, kinds of components that we can add. We'll say the top 10 lead sources. That'll probably be interesting. And again, we're going to add criteria that's going to allow us to only display, quote unquote, my leads logged in user. This is another KPI type. If we click change template, um, these are all of the different KPI styles. How cool is this stuff? Um, it's really fun to, to kind of work through these dashboards and add them, um, kind of tweak them to your to your needs. This is applying to um, created this year. I'll just leave that as is. We can add a chart um, as another example, deals by stages, or that's deals, sorry, we're going to cancel out of that. I want leads. So I'll go back to our lead analytics, um, and we can do leads by lead status. We can select if it's a bar chart or any of these options for charts. So you've got a lot of, again, both you have options for both the, the, the actual data that you're bringing in and how that data is displayed. We're adding our criteria oops, for only displaying my leads. And we can specify grouping as well. Um, I'm going to leave this as is because I want to display my leads by lead status. And there we go. And here we've got <clears throat> a lot more um, a lot more leads displaying here than the two KPIs because these are using the this year as the um, date criteria. So that's just something to consider. Just keep an eye out for that date um, criteria as you're adding this so it's not too confusing. And then we can also create our own components by selecting any of these options. Um, we're going to do a quick chart. And let's see, leads by leads by oh, let's see. We can do country. Leads by country. And we're going to do a count of the leads by country, um, add criteria, owner, is 
this logged in user. And there we go. We can edit any of these by selecting these three dots and clicking edit. We can change this to a donut chart. So that's how you add all of these um, different kinds of components. Again, you can either pick from a gallery or select uh, the component type and create your own. I like using the galleries just as a starting point because I think it's I think it provides good examples, um, and then you can kind of tweak them however you need to. And if we save this, we've got our dashboard here. We can refresh everything on this page by clicking this button. We can reorder by clicking these dot dot dots and um, selecting reorder and then just move things around. So yeah, this is kind of fun to work with um, and it does take a little bit to really think about what you want to see in these and um, adjust these dashboards as necessary or create your own. Um, so let's uh, review the main points of this video. Oh, before we do that, I do want to point out one more thing. If we select any of the options here, so we're going to select unit or USA. Um, if we select that section of that chart it's going to open up a quick little list of those records in a separate window. It's not going to give us any infor any you know detailed information about them in this page here. However, we can um, click on this and open up the lead itself. Okay. All right, so let's review the main points of this video. So dashboards are highly customizable and consist of charts. Um, those charts or components display high level information about your records. You can create your own dashboard or component or use the dozens of out of the box options um, to really customize your charts or your charts, your components and dashboards. And then out of the box charts and dashboards can be modified so you can kind of use them as a starting point and tweak them heavily um, to get a great dashboard that's showing just what you need. Another quick little tip that we talked about was using the filters to allow us to create um, dashboards that display quote unquote, my records. Um, so my deals, my leads, we can set that to the logged in user where the lead owner or the record owner is the logged in user. Um, and that way you don't need to create five different dashboards for five different employees. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this class today. I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, please check out our video library for other tips and training videos just like this one. Um, if you have suggestions for other classes or how to adjust this class topic, please let us know by emailing us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Um, you can also email us any questions you have about this video or really anything, um, any other questions you might have about Zoho at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks so much for watching.